but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On third down, Johnson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Bills to throw for it on fourth. That's complete to Chris Conley. The 20. Touchdown. Chris Conley, 65 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, it's Mitchell. He was brought down by Malik Collins. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's caught by Ayuk on the slant. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On third down, Mitchell. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Right back to him on first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 105 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. They'll run on first down. Mitchell, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. These two teams all tied after one. Second and eight. Throwing now is Garoppolo. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Garoppolo now. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. 
So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I open think that he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Davis Mills taking it in from four yards out, and the Texans have taken the lead. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. Fairbairn good with the extra point, And that makes the score 14 to seven. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. First down. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Murray. And the Texans are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Now left side on the swing pass. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A first down throw for Mills. Screenplay, Johnson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. On second down now, it's Johnson. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. 
But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The first carry now for Rex Burkhead. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run. This is Burkhead. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. He scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll try and pound it in with Burkhead. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Rex Burkhead in the final seconds of the first half. And the Texans will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And it's now 21-7. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we'll see how aggressive they want to be in these final stages before the half. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And they intercept Garoppolo for the third time. Picked up by Justin Reed. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's Johnson again on second down. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 70 yards. And the Texans push further out in front. It was third and medium. They popped the short pass, looking to pick up the first, accomplish that mission, and then they accomplished a lot more on that mission all the way for the score. Let me focus in on one word you used, pop, right? They popped the short pass, and then what happened after that? They popped the big run because now, once he caught it, didn't have anyone else in the vicinity to bring him down, and he takes off, and he kept going. Nice gutsy call even better execution. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. 
And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. 126 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. He's done his part sailing past the century mark on the ground with rushing yardage, but his team, a different story. Yeah, they're down big in this ball game, so sometimes you wonder to yourself how much of that is him with a great performance and how much of that is the defense just loosening up because they have a big lead. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. The tackle made by Eric Murray. Oftentimes, we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Eric Murray. 30, 10, five. and they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. Right? Good field position means go ahead and attack that offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw pulled in by Kittle. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. But well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long, but a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Muhammad Sanu, 28 yards. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Gold to add the extra point. It's good, and it's now 35-14. I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They want more. Here comes an onside kick. And the effort snuffed out. The Texans' hands team recovers. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Second 
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Johnson. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners 31. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Now Mills on fourth down. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, touchdown, Texans! Brandon Cooks. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Texans will add on to their lead. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Garoppolo again here on second and ten. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. To throw, it's Garoppolo. The same target, same result, it's Kittle. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. He's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. Desmond King picks it. And the Texans are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been in the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. 
the 38 yard line. They go to Johnson again. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 58 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff, Johnson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. Room here to run. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left. And now here is another interception. Desmond King picks it. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbairn. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, again. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. We've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And they can't connect incomplete, but that stops the clock with one tick remaining here in this first half. One final try now for Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them.